All right, Facebook, YouTube, September the 11th. I just left the floors uh, with Scoby Kevin and our ride along Bobby was doing. I came out here this morning. Um, this was Mr. Pat. He found me on Google. They are moving into this home and he wanted to get the floors recoded after doing research and realizing this is a good time and a good option to do to the floors. He also realized, and uh, there's Mr. Pat right there. Uh, he's about to leave. Uh, but I'm right now in Alpharetta, Georgia. Him and his wife are moving into this home. And he said, Courtney, we just want to get the floors protected before we move in. We can kind of see in certain areas where the floors are taking some wear. And after doing research, uh, we found out that this floor cannot be sanded because it is an engineered floor. But overall, guys, the floor is still in good condition. But recoding these floors today is a great option. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, they're going to go with a matte finish. They had some new floors insta um, installed upstairs which is more like a matte finish and they kind of want to get that same look downstairs so what i'm going to do guys is uh rough these floors up do a light screening on these engineer floors and then clean tack them and then coat them with matte and i'll come back and also too he added the stairs today as well he said courtney while you're here i'll just go ahead and do the stairs uh so it's uh 983 square feet two dollars a square foot and then i charge it here um charging forty dollars per stair all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and get started and then after this I have uh, two more consultations because this was actually my first consultation this morning. And uh, man, the phone has been blowing up. I have booked seven consultations already for this week. Um, so uh, that's a good thing. All right, guys, let me go ahead and get started. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I am coding the stairs. Um, again, the client did go with uh, Aqu Matt AquaPro. Um, so uh, what I'm gonna do then is vacuum. I've already uh, cleaned the floors, uh, screened the floors, and I'm just gonna do a vacuum just to get up any debris off the floors, and then I'm gonna also coat the floor. So just showing you guys uh, me doing the stairs. I also did a little color correction. Now, some of the edges, like right here, like the color was wearing off. So I did light color correction um, at the best of my ability. Okay, it's kind of hard to do it on the lip of those stairs. So um, again, right now, just coating the stairs, give it some good protection which really matters. I had a lady call earlier um, that wants a consultation and um, she was telling me uh, that after doing research, she realized uh, what we was doing in our videos was a lot different what she was being told that needed to be done. And like I told her too, you know, you guys must ask questions when you're getting these type of services because like I was telling her, another thing too, when you're getting your floors recoded, this last step of recording your floors is what matters, okay? And I will say, guys, listen, I know a lot of dirty secrets in this industry, okay? But let's say, for example, we charge $2 for a screen and recode, and that is a good, good price, guys. Trust me. I know some guys charging $250 up to $4 a square foot just for a recode. $2 a square foot to me is a fair price. Um, it's not the most expensive, but it's also not the cheapest. But if you start having people telling you dollar a square foot, 75 cents a square foot, guys, that's when you really got to start asking yourself some really important questions because the reason why i say this like with the products that we use uh these are called one uh, i'm sorry two components so we have an additive a two part that we put in these make them cure faster more durable and just an overall better finish for the floors a gallon of this guy's running about 130 bucks okay 
uh, you can get a one part for fifty dollars. Okay, so when you start getting cheaper prices when it comes to your floors being finished, even on the sandy side, you got to ask yourself some questions. I'm telling you, you will hire a company, they will put some cheap finish on your floors, and it's not going to give you good superior protection. Um, it's going to scuff and scratch very easy, and you just, I'm telling you, it's not going to be worth it when you can just get it done right and pay a little bit more the first time. All right, guys, let me go ahead and get this uh, these stairs coated uh, with this last stair coated. Go ahead and back in the floors, and I'll come back and show you some rolling. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I got the coating going down. Remember, this is a matte finish. No matter what sheen you choose, you always want to have that wet, glossy look because of all the water that's still in the finish. But once it evaporates, then you're left with the sheen. All right, all right, guys, too, man. Uh, I give myself a pat on the back. I did my first hardwood floor Zoom maintenance class uh, yesterday. Um, I had 22 students, and um, I'm, I just set my second one up. But you know, I've been going to uh, Omaha, and you know, of course, I have people that come out and do ride alongs with me, like today, Mr. Bobby. But a lot of people, it's hard for them to get away because they're busy, they have families, kids, and I totally understand. Um, so that was actually another good way for me to uh, train and educate people, um, colleagues in my industry, with the wood floor maintenance is with Zoom. So I did my first first one yesterday. It was about a six-hour um, class, uh, which I didn't mind because I love helping people, educating people. And I got some great, great feedback from it as well. So, uh, all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish putting down this coating. And I'll come back and I'll show you guys when I'm done. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, um, I am done. I'm not going to step on it. It's still drying. But just kind of give you a look of how it looks. came out amazing. And uh, Scoby them uh, finished that job that you guys, um, the wax job. And it was so, like, she was so happy with it. She left a uh, $589 tip. So uh, my client uh, is going to be here shortly to get me paid. And guys, I still have three estimates to do. But they're all in the same area of the area I'm in, I am now. Uh, right now, I am in uh, Alpharetta. And my next uh, three consultations are in uh coming on my way back home all right guys you have a great day see you in the next one